Thousands of Iowa students just finished their first week back at school, and for many, it's already been pretty hectic. Students and staff are already quarantined or learning online in districts like Carlisle, Norwalk, and Winterset. KCCI's Max Deep Knight talked with teachers about the challenges that they're facing. Max? Yeah, Ray, it's been an interesting year already. I talked with four Central Iowa teachers today, and the one thing I heard from all of them is there's only so much you can do to prepare for a school year like this one. Before, obviously, when we uh, when we were studying to be teachers, we didn't take uh, COVID-19 101. So it's been a it's been an interesting journey and experience. Matt and, uh, and Jill Oliver teach at Indianola uh, High School. These pictures are from the district's sneak peek for sixth graders last week before classes started up. You may have heard the entire sixth grade class is now online after two teachers tested positive for COVID. The Olivers say at the high school level things aren't going well though. There are some challenges and juggling in person and virtual learning is definitely one of them. That's been kind of new too to try to figure out how to teach both remote and in class and keep them on the same page and and with all of it being a very fluid situation. That word fluid, the teachers we spoke with say they know things could change at a moment's notice. Sarah Fisher is a first grade teacher in the Johnston School District, which starts classes back up on Monday. Saying that we all feel like we're brand new teachers this year, no matter how much experience we have. But teachers are doing their best to make it feel normal. Fisher says with first graders, it's difficult to socially distance Here's one creative technique they've oh, come sure. up with. Yeah, so this is our classroom greetings for social distancing. We have waving, air fiving, air bumps, salute, heart fingers, air hugs, bows, foot bumps, and dabs that they can they can chew. You could say it's just one example of teachers stepping up when we need them most. 